Always get clearance from your physician before you start an activity regimen. Welcome to Being Active. Curveball. Cardio and resistance training for adults and children using any sort of soft ball. Our curveball activities require very basic equipment. You need shoes that fit well, have good tread so you do not slip, and offer good support. Staying hydrated with water is very important while being active. Be sure to have a filled water bottle with you for easy access. It works best to have a four to six inch ball for each person participating in these group activities. If you like to listen to music while you're being active, we recommend a selection that helps you keep a good, consistent pace while you move. You'll also want to have access to a wall to complete some of the movements in this activity. Our curveball activity is designed to accomplish several goals. This is the perfect group of fun movements for adults and children using fun equipment. It's ideal to move while elevating the heart rate and breathing rate comfortably for at least 20 minutes a day. Your cardiovascular activity should increase your heart rate and breathing rate, but you should not feel overworked or out of breath. We will follow the cardiovascular activity with strengthening and flexibility. Always practice proper safety measures and take precautions when you're being active. Staying hydrated before, during, and after activity is always a priority. Keep cool water handy at all times. Use safe surfaces like flat yards, walking paths, sidewalks, or tracks when you can. Always take a fully charged cell phone with you, along with any emergency medication, medic alert tag, or personal identification you need. And be sure to tell someone where you are going and when you will return. Remember to practice social distancing when guidelines are in effect. Wear sunscreen or other sun protection like hat and long sleeve shirts or jackets to avoid any skin damage from the sun. Safety precautions during this curveball activity include never leaving stray balls on the ground so rolling a foot or ankle is avoided. Never retrieve a ball unattended that rolls or bounces into the street or someone else's property. Set strict activity area boundaries for children and never leave children unattended with a ball. Remove any obstacles in the activity area because everyone has blind spots when they're catching and playing. And watch out for pets who may want to retrieve the ball. Always warm up the body before being active to decrease the likelihood of injury. Children should warm up with you too. Get your group in a circle, everyone with their feet apart. With the ball in one hand, reach all the way up, moving the ball over to the other hand. Grab the ball with the other hand and reach up and over. Switch hands again. Repeat several times to warm up the rib cage and shoulders. Have the kids count how many times you all switch the ball to the other hand if you need to help them focus. With the ball in one hand, reach all the way out in front of you and switch the ball to your other hand. Across and switch, across and switch hands. This will warm up the upper back and rib cage. Use a partner for this one. Raise the ball all the way up over your head and gently squat and roll the ball to your partner. And up high, squat and roll. Repeat this several times to warm up the hips, spine and thighs. You can inhale as you reach up and exhale as you roll the ball. With your feet and legs together, hold the ball between your knees. Bend your knees like you're sitting down. Gently push your knees back to straighten the knees, then bend. Continue several times to warm the back of the thighs. Now, let's get started. Take a look at the clock and plan to move for at least 20 minutes. Each person has their own ball. Stand with legs apart and squatting down and standing tall. Bounce the ball and catch it to get used to catching the ball. You can give children a number of times to repeat this. Next, hold and squeeze the ball in front of your chest to engage your chest muscles. Squat down and alternate side leg lifts. This strengthens muscles in the chest, thighs, and hips. Now, hold the ball in both hands. Start on the side at your hip. Raise the ball all the way over your head to the other hip while lunging to the side. Your heart rate may increase since you're lifting arms higher. Everyone can practice hitting a target. Stand side by side at the starting line. The parent rolls the ball 10 to 20 feet in front to create a target. The child rolls their ball and tries to hit the parent's ball. If the ball is hit, celebrate. Now retrieve the balls and do five jumping jacks when you return to the starting line. 
Each time the ball is retrieved, the next person rolls and tries to hit it. Get the balls, return to the starting line, and do five jumping jacks, and repeat several times. Celebrate with dancing or jumping or any activity so children know that movement is a reward. At this point, you could take a brief safety check. Are you breathing effectively? Can you do more? Do you need to slow down? Do you need some water? Now let's try some strengthening activities. Everyone with their ball in hand, legs apart, reach your arms high with the ball. Bend your elbows with the ball coming behind your head and squat. Bring the ball down in front and squat. Raise the ball over and behind your head and squat. Then down in front and squat. Repeat this several times. Try to keep your spine aligned and use your thighs, not your back. This strengthens the back of the upper arm and also the thighs and rear, or gluteals. Now take your ball to a wall or anything you can lean against safely, like a tree. Put the ball behind your back and try to keep it from falling. Now gently move into a seated squat as the ball rolls along the back. Stand up, but don't let the ball fall, and squat, and up. Repeat several times. Everyone stand side by side and hold hands to use each other for balance on one foot. Lift your knee and hold the ball in the bend of your knee. Let go of each other and balance as long as you can. Try the same thing lifting and lowering your knee without dropping the ball. If someone drops the ball, that's okay and part of the fun. See who can balance the longest. Don't forget to do the same thing using the other leg. If your heart rate is elevated, stroll around to cool down. Stretching is really important, so take time to do so. Also, spend time with children while stretching so they realize how important it is. One leg is forward and one is back. Bend the front knee and push weight onto the back heel to stretch the back of the lower leg. Hold for several seconds. You may want children to count to 10. Bend forward and try to touch your toes. If it's painful, do not reach so far. Hold for several seconds to stretch your spine and back of the legs. Put your hands on your knees and bend down like you're sitting in a chair and slowly roll up to standing. Do not stand too quickly. Now everyone had a good time and was active. Good job, everyone. Now you know how to make being active part of happy, healthy living.